Are you ready for this? Sure. This is for our kid. Okay. When our kid is born, they can watch these videos. That's very sweet of you. Yeah. When Your we're daddy's old. weird. When we're old and... Decrepit. Frail and... Dying. Dying. And forgetting stuff. Yeah. That's the main point, to remember this stuff. Because stories get... Lost. Lost over the years, and they become different types of memories. And <clears throat> the human mind is an interesting thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, I just wanted to... Can you stop? <laughs> I just wanted to talk about kind of spreading the news and, you know, the people we told and their reactions. So, the first people we told, it was on a Tuesday. You didn't write down the date. It was a Tuesday before we went to Las Vegas. Okay. I see your daddy wants a date. And we went to Vegas. It was um, Tuesday the 10th. Because it was the same day as our appointment. Yeah, it was. Because we went to the appointment in the morning. Uh-huh. We went to the appointment in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then later on that night, because you can't keep secrets. I you, can't keep secrets. You wanted... That's Oma's fault. Just FYI. Oma can't keep secrets either. So, it was on the 10th. And we went over to tell my mom first. Because mm -hmm. we were on the way to your parents' house. So we told Nana first. Yeah. Because um, they just came back from their trip. <laughs> I told you to stop it. That's Hi, a Dad. dog we're watching. His name is Lionel. They we're call watching. him Leo for short. He's a sweetie. Aren't you? You're a sweetie. You just want to go outside all the time. Yeah, see? He doesn't like men, but I'm petting him right now. Your father gets distracted. Lay down. Um, so we gave her a shirt. And she was super excited. She was really surprised. And she surprised. She was actually the only one that was, like, surprised. really surprised. Yeah, like, it just came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we left her house and we went over to Shauna's. Your Aunt Shauna. And Shauna got very excited because we gave her a cup. So she opened the door and Sam was holding a cup. And she saw it, she read it, and then she just like jumped up and down and, and screaming. screaming. And she's like, I knew it, I knew it. When because, you were over here the last time, I knew it. Because Sam went over to break down the bunk bed in Nari's room. And... She kept asking questions. Kept asking I, questions. I told her, when we know, we'll let you know, but we got to tell your mom first. Mm-hmm. And so, um, we talked to her a little bit, but not too long. <coughs> and then we left there. Because it was Taco Tuesday. At Del Taco. So we went to Del Taco, because... Again, her parents were coming back from their vacation in Texas, mm -hmm. and we wanted to see them to let them know, but we had to be very inconspicuous about it. So Sam texted them and was like, we missed you. And I was just like, yeah, let's just have some Taco Tuesday as a way of downplaying it. I grabbed three extra taco bags, Del Taco bags. I asked them for three extra bags, and I put their surprise gifts in it. So when we arrived, it was just Del Taco bags. No gifts, just Del Taco bags. So they were like, what's those bags? And I was like, oh, those are dessert. Yeah. And so, um, your dad mm -hmm. had... Opa? Asked, hey, do you have any news for us? And, we were, and then I was like, oh, well, I just got my windshield fixed. Because I didn't know what to say. Because my truck windshield was broken. It's been broken since um, April. Mm -hmm. I had a rock hit it. Mm -hmm. on my way to work and apparently there's a windshield shortage and so I had to wait for them to fix it and they finally fixed it so there was that and then um, over the weekend I got new meds so I was like oh well I got new meds new medication and they weren't that great and so I just kind of sold it like that and we just carried on 
and then um, we finished our tacos, and then Sam was like, all right, it's time for dessert. And I marked the bags which person was which bag by just putting their initials at the bottom on the, on the bag so they didn't see it uh, with a pen. And then I handed them each their bag, and then your Aunt Jackie opened hers first, and she was like, you sneaky bitch. <laughs> so she reached in, grabbed it, pulled it out, and then Oma and Opa did the same. And they were tired, so they were not as excited. But they were <laughs> excited. But they were excited, yeah. Um, and that's what we have for notes on excited. So obviously there was a lot of questions, a lot of storytelling going on. And then Wednesday, um, your dad invited us to... He wanted to have dinner again. So Opa wanted to have dinner, dinner again because he was still really excited and wanted to see us again. So they asked us what we wanted, and because of the medication I had been taking, I had been nauseous and not feeling well. So we um, we went to Who Hot. We went to eat there. Yep, and I was um, staying late at work, and it was a Wednesday, so I was up in Denver. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was kind of late. I mean, we showed up there pretty late. I mean, they were getting ready to close because they close at like well we showed up earlier well, i showed he up he showed up late later yeah and it was the one over by bubba's yes yeah yeah because it's the other one was closed at the time yeah and then um we left thursday morning to go to vegas uh we flew out of colorado springs yep. right there. oh they're right here and so then the um, next people we told were Sammy and Rob, who were meeting us in Vegas. We wanted to make sure that we let family members know before we went to Vegas because... Family should know first before our friends did. But we had to tell our friends because um, we were going to get tattoos and drink and can't do that when I'm pregnant. So, and I can't keep secrets, so tell the family first and then told Sammy and Rob. Yeah. And so um, we missed our initial flight. My fault. But I was frustrated. Um, we basically didn't anticipate the... I didn't factor in the, the, the proper time. When I booked the flights, the calendar event put the departure time on there rather than the boarding time. And so I thought, like, we still had enough time. And we literally got to the airport, like, probably five, ten minutes before they were going to leave. Off. Right. Um, and, of course, by the time we woke up and we're getting out the door... There was no way we could make up that time. So we missed our flight. We rescheduled a new one um, around, I think it left at 10. I think it was two hours later. Yeah, it was two hours later. But we were <clears throat> flying out of Car Springs. Um, and then we didn't get to Vegas until like noon. And then um, we went to our timeshare presentation, which is its own story. And then um, we went to the... The room, was it shortly after that we went to the room mm -hmm. and kind of got settled in a little bit. And then we waited for Sammy and Rob who were driving in and um, they arrived around um, a little before four o'clock um, Vegas time. And uh, prior to going to Vegas, we had picked up some scratch off tickets. We ordered them on Amazon and they were baby announcement scratch off tickets. So, because we were going to Vegas, we already knew that we could use those as gifts from Vegas. Because I'm a smarty pants. Okay. Do you want to continue that part? So, we gave them the scratch-off tickets. Mm -hmm. And we told them, we told Sammy and Rob that we wanted to know if they won or not. Because we, we didn't win ours. So, we, we wanted to know if they won. So, um... They both started scratching off their tickets, and Rob got halfway through the 
guess what we're having? And then he stopped and he looked stopped at us. And he looked at me. <laughs> and he kind of did this. I know, I know what this is. And Sammy was there scratching and scratching. And then Rob asked her, um, well, did you win anything? And she's like, well, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand. I, I don't understand. And, he, and she's like turning it over and looking at the back because she's trying to read like the instructions or whatever. And then he asked her um, another question. And he's like, well, what does it say? And she was kind of turned away from him. And she goes, well, it says we're having a baby. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> and she turned around towards him. And he gave her this look like, you're dumb. And she didn't think about it. And she didn't think about it. And, and so I was of... like, give her a minute. She'll think of it. <laughs> and then she was like, oh, that's awesome. And then she was uh, excited. And she gave us a hug. But. That one's probably the best reaction out of the ball because <laughs> you can't make it up. Mm-mm. You know, I wish we would have videoed it. Honestly, I wish we would have videoed more of these so we would have remembered them. But then I thought, well, since we didn't video them, maybe we could make a video talking about them so that we can remember it. All him. So, um, you wrote down that the next people that were told were the Warren family. Mm-hmm. Yep. So tell that story. Oh, right. He wasn't there. Um, So I went to your cousin Alyssa, uh, her volleyball game. Um, It's her last one of the season. So I showed up because I was supposed to go to one of her earlier ones and missed them. But uh, I went and I sat down and we were talking and catching up. And then um, Alyssa was done with her game. So she came over with the rest of us and then... I was pulling out the scratch-off tickets and the gifts for the girls when Brian got up and left, your Uncle Brian, got up and left to go get food. (laughs) And I was like, oh, I'll just keep going. So I pulled out the gifts, I gave them all the gifts, and I gave them all their their scratch-offs and stuff. And so Eva didn't scratch hers, but she watched Alyssa open her card. And so they both started squealing and getting all excited. And they were like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. And then the other two, Selena and Rebecca, your cousins, were like, what? What? And then they were like, well, open your card. And so they opened their cards. And Selena got all excited. And she's like, seriously? Oh, my God. And then Rebecca was still like, well, what? And they're like, open your card. So then she opened her card and they got all excited. And then everybody was all excited except for Brian because he was getting food. And so as he was walking back, I was like, okay, okay, you guys gotta calm down because we gotta make sure Brian, you know, doesn't know until he knows. So Eva started scratching her scratch-off ticket because Brian didn't because he was eating. So I gave it to him and he stuck it underneath his in his pocket and started eating. So Eva started scratching it off and, and she was looking at it and so she had to hide it from him and then he, he looked over to look at it and she goes, do you want to know what I won? And he goes, yeah, yeah. So she handed him the card and he go, he was reading through it and looking at it, and he goes, we're having a baby. Oh, my God, congratulations. <laughs> so they were all really excited. Alyssa and Selena are excited that when you are born, they want to babysit like crazy. And Selena and Alyssa will probably fight over babysitting you, just so you know. <laughs> but that was that was theirs. So they're really excited, and ever, ever since then has been sending me mom things. By the way, this is what your toddler does. By the way, this is what your baby does. And so then the next people were were Dan and Oliver. Your, I wasn't there for that one either. <laughs> your Uncle Dan and their significant other, Oliver. Because they're not married or their relationship's weird. Anyway. Complicated. Probably a better term. Yeah, <laughs> probably a better term. Um, so your Uncle Dan was sick. Like... Coughing, sneezing, sick. So anyway, I went over, knocked on the door. They showed me their apartment and stuff. And then I handed them their shirt. And they got really excited. They got so excited. They ran out the door because Oliver was outside. And they ran out the door. And they were like, look, 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 look. And their shirt said, again, because, you know, your Aunt Jackie has a kid. But near here or there. Anyway, so... (laughs) Oliver and Dan got really excited. So then they started talking about stuff and they were really excited about the fact that 
um, when we start getting baby stuff, we want baby neutral stuff so that we can use it for you and for your siblings. So that way we don't have to hunt for new clothes when you guys are all born. Because if you're a boy or a girl, then the next one's a boy or a girl, and it's complicated. So, baby neutral. But they were excited that we're doing that. And then the next one was Surgid. Yeah, I just texted him randomly while we were doing something randomly somewhere. I don't, because I was like, well, it's been like about a week since we've told anybody. Let me tell Surgid because he's in Texas and he's our, he's like a little brother. So he was really excited. He said congratulations and sent a whole bunch of stickers on the phone. And then we told Shayla, so Shayla, um, how did you get Shayla to come over to our house? You said Just that we had out. gifts. Yeah. We had gifts from Vegas, I think. Maybe. Maybe. We just had things for her, and we wanted to hang out with her and see her. Um, what did you get? Hold on. What did you get Dan and Oliver? I only got gifts? Dan a shirt, and so it says, Uncle Established 2024 again. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And we didn't get surrogate anything. No, uh, the Warren, Sorry, <laughs> the Warren family. We got the girls, your cousins, bracelets that said the best cousin ever or the greatest cousin ever. And then Uncle Brian was like, "Are you sure they're gonna be the best cousins ever? Because have you seen these girls?" It was funny. So uh, back to Shayla. Sorry mm-hmm. to divert there, but then so Shayla came over. Um, I don't Malachi. remember did, with Malachi. Um, who at the time, it was before his first birthday, mm-hmm. right? So he was... He was only like... 11 months? 10 or 11 months, yeah. 10 or 11 months, okay. Um, and we did... Uh, I can't remember, did we talk about anything before that? Or we, did were, start... we were socializing and stuff, but when bit. she got in and settled down, and then I was like, okay, well, here's the things I got you. And then... We did it right over here in the dining room. I got a little bit of the video only after... I, I was trying to, what I was trying to do was I was trying to get the whole video, but then Sam jumped the gun. I always jump the gun. I don't and, look for videos. And so the, the, I didn't catch the beginning of the reaction, but she's, she got really excited. She, she started, had Malachi in her arms and she was like flailing all around and, and jumping and spinning and I was around. like, you should probably put him and down. And his neck he, is all like this. And he, I'm like, he had food in his mouth. So I was like, you should probably put him down. And then she set him down and then started jumping around again. And then she gave Sam a big hug. <laughs> She's like super excited. So <laughs> probably, I don't know. Would you say that she was equally less than more excited than Shauna when she found out? About the same as Shauna, different but the same. Yeah. Um, while Shayla was there, Alyssa, um, who lives in Nebraska, yeah, she called because she was having family drama. She was having a bad day. So we talked through her bad day, and then I was like, so, do you want to hear something good? Make your day a little bit better? Make your day a good day? And then she's like, yeah, and then she goes, and I was like, okay, do you want to guess? And she goes, are you pregnant? And I, I didn't say anything. And she goes, oh my god, you're pregnant. And I was like, yep, I'm pregnant. And it's just, she got really excited, started squealing, got really excited, started congratulations, all that stuff on the phone. So it was, it was yeah. nice. And then, um, yeah, because we were in the the now baby room Mm -hmm. um we don't have i mean even now it's november 25th after thanksgiving we still don't have a lot of stuff we still need to get more furniture but we did have a rug a very soft nice rug in there and we were laying on the rug and we were getting malachi to to crawl across it and we were in there with the dogs and the cat and he was chasing the cat and that's when Alyssa had called Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, just to provide extra context, so we remember that. Then the next people we told were Bree and Daisha, and um, we had went out to eat Bubba's at Bubba's um, with them. Mm-hmm. And so I could probably even go into detail because I do my reviews of what we all had, but I think I just had a chicken sandwich and some fire fries. And I was still nauseated then, so I didn't eat. I don't think I ate a lot yet. Yeah. So, um, we basically went the whole time just chit-chatting, catching up, because we hadn't seen them, um, in a little walk. We hadn't seen them 
since their wedding because they had their wedding in September. In the beginning of September and we didn't, we didn't the, really see them a whole the, lot uh, at the wedding because uh, it's a wedding right and you don't she just it's just we could talk to them later right we did help them at their wedding afterwards like clean up and stuff and and take some stuff to their house before they went to mexico on their honeymoon but we didn't really see them and so we were just catching up on things and 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 their trip in mexico and how that was and they were sharing with us that they were um they found a donor and that they were going to start going through that process of of having a kid and and so, Bree was asking Sam questions, so please I, continue. I tried to avoid her and my pregnant questions, so I started out with, you know, I've been doing this drug, this drug, this drug, you know, it got me to ovulate, it, all that stuff, so that way I got to that point, but they never asked, well, are you pregnant? They never asked, so I didn't have to answer. Um, but we talked about, like... The metformin for diabetes mostly, but it helps with PCOS occasionally. Then uh, we talked about the progesterone, which is that drug that you take when you're on the pill, depending on if you're female or not. Um, but if you're on the birth control pill, it's progesterone most of the time. And then they put me on um, the third pill, which triggers ovulation. It starts with an L. I don't remember what it, what it says. Um... So I told her that, and then the drug, I took it once, one month, and it didn't work, and then I took it again, I doubled the dose, and it worked that time. So she was like, okay, okay, so hopefully you have some hope that you'll get pregnant. I was like, yeah, hopefully we'll get pregnant soon. Um, now this was actually, I've missed a part. We went to a escape room. Oh yeah, we did that with before. That day, because it was a Saturday, we went to the escape room, and we mm -hmm. did that. Um, um, and they had their friends, I don't remember their names, but I guess it doesn't necessarily matter, but they were at the escape room with us and we were trying to get them to do their scratch off tickets then, but they just put them in their bag. Their, their bag. So before we left, I was like, Hey, just make sure you do the scratch offs before we leave. Like we all leave, separate, go our separate ways. Cause we want to know if you won, you know, kind of thing. So then they debated while they were in the car if they were going to do them right then and there or not. And they waited, thankfully, until they got to Bubbles. Yeah. And so we, I mean, we were at Bubbles for maybe an hour, hour and a half, just chit-chatting and stuff. And then they um, they were getting ready to, to leave. Um, and they did want us to go over to their house, which we wound up doing. After. After they did the scratch-offs. But, but we wanted to make sure that they did their scratch-offs. So Sam did the whole well I do want to see if you guys won before you head over there. And then they did the scratch off. And I can't re I can't remember. Um, One of them scratched off the, in the winning prize part. I think it was Daisha. I think Daisha like, did the winning <laughs> prize one first. So she knew, but she didn't. She let Bree's reaction come through. Bree looked over at Daisha's. Yes. And then laughed because she was like, oh, because we're, we're trying to. We're trying to get pregnant, so we're having a baby. Ha, ha that's funny. Um, and then she paused for a minute and went, wait a minute, and then started scratching faster on her scratch ticket. And, and then, then she got super excited, yeah. and then she started crying. Yeah. They're very emotional. They got really <laughs> emotional, and um, I can't remember if Daisha got emotional, but she definitely was trying to hold back because we, um, you know, we've been trying and stuff, and, and they know the that the struggle is real so um then we stayed and talked for like another 20 or 30 minutes so we weren't actually leaving at that point and then that's where sam went through all of that that she just kind of like how it's been and how she's been sick and um just asking those types of questions and brie was sharing like how her pregnancy went and hers was rough her her pregnancy story was rough but then uh, after we talked about it a little bit, uh, Daisha was like, can we can we go back to our house? Because I'm tired. So we were able to all travel down there and yeah. hang out with them for another like hour or so. And then we left. Yeah. Which is really funny because we just saw Bray and Daisha yesterday. Mm -hmm. They came over to the parents' house and we mm -hmm. played some board games for... We played their game. Villainous. Villainous. I really like that game. It's a Disney we game. We played it. So yesterday was Black Friday and then we had some... 
some turkey and leftovers and stuff. But um, so it shows that the next people we told were Rachel and Damari. Mm-hmm. So um, we I planned a um, pumpkin walk, like a jack o' lantern walk, down in Fountain, because they're really hard to hang out with occasionally. Um, so they're just busy. They have busy lives. So we. I tried to find something that was down in their part of town, and so which helped a lot. That's the other part of it. You know, they're down in Fountain, so they're like three yeah. minutes away from us. So we went to the Jack Lantern Walk down in Fountain, which was really adorable and cute. But and we went out to eat first. We did go eat, out to eat first. That was when we told them. That's when we told them. Sorry. So we went to Carabas, um, over by Tinseltown. Yeah. Um, and Rachel cried. Damari was really happy and excited. Um, they've also been trying too, so they shared some of that you know struggle. their struggle, and Sam shared some of hers. I actually asked her if she had started to look into medical help, and she's like, "No." And I was like, "Well, I was just asking." I was like, "I know how hard it is to take that step because a lot of women find it hard to take that step." Where I was like. It's my body, Let's and go. if it's if it. if I know I'm already having um, menstrual cycle issues, then I know that I'm gonna have issues trying to get pregnant anyway. Yeah, so I mean, that's why I just some, jumped right in. We could have done some seances and some incense and like danced around the table or something, but no, we chose to go to a doctor, and you know it worked because um, I, I had shared that I, I spoke with somebody <coughs> who has BCOS. And they struggled for three years, um, and they didn't want to go to a doctor because they were afraid of what would come of it and what the doctor would say. But they had a lot of regrets waiting those three years, but they also acknowledged that it took a lot of courage in order to take that step. A step which we were already doing at about eight months uh, Thanks, dog. Um, so, uh, now you don't have anybody else listed here. Do you remember if we told Miranda next or who was next after that? So I think it was Miranda because I think Miranda was the last one because October was Tell Rachel and Damari. Miranda was a little bit more sporadic. Yeah. Miranda, it was Miranda really- had called me because we were going to go eat. At that new pizza place. Mm-hmm. We were going to get a cheese, a free cheese pizza that you got, got, from a, work. got a coupon from work. Mm-hmm. And um, we were on our way there when Miranda called me and said that their car was broke down and they needed help. I think it was that weekend that she said she was going to come down. So it was... I show a call from her on November 3rd. Yeah, it would have been then. It would have been so, then. So I remember it was she, a Friday. Yeah, November, and I remember was I was um going to log back on that night. Yep, 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 that makes sense because I had uh, an ASR project at work. And we were going to launch it that weekend. And going into that weekend, I was working some overtime. And I was going to work on the project Friday night. We were going to go eat. And then I was going to come back and log on. But then Miranda had called us and said that they needed help. And we didn't even get to the place yet. We means Miranda and Rachel. Miranda, Miranda and went Rachel. and picked up Rachel. Yeah. And Rachel was going up to Castle Rock with her. So her night was awful because she had to deal with her car stuff. And so I let her borrow my car over the weekend until about Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. Um, but So because of her car stuff, um, I was like, so do you want some good news on top of your bad day? Which is when we told her. <clears throat> and then she got really excited. And Rachel was like, thank God, because it's going to be really hard to keep that secret from her all weekend long. <laughs> so Yeah, but, um, yeah, we went we went and helped, helped them out. Um, I, I helped move their car, get it into neutral. I originally tried to, to, try to jump it because they said it was just a battery. But I was on my way there, and I was like, I wonder how... What's the likelihood that this is the battery? Because a lot of people will say it's the battery and then it's not the battery. I was hoping it was the battery because then that's easy fix, easy jump. Um, but 
it wasn't the battery. It was definitely something uh, fuel injector related. Um, but uh, we moved the car and then um, we moved it a little bit more and then I did hook it up and, and tow it um, into the parking lot, into the Jared's parking lot there off of Academy and Woodman. Woodman, yep, yeah, right there. And um, Miranda was going to use her um, roadside assistance to call a tow truck. And then um, we wound up going to the pizza restaurant and eating while they waited for the tow truck. It wound up being a pretty good selection. I think we need to go back there sometime soon. Um, and then we came back and we picked them up from the, um, the mechanic. And then we brought them to our house, and then Sam let them use um, her car. Um, that was a Friday, and they used the car through Tuesday night. And then Miranda came and dropped it off. And uh, I talked to her for a little while, but um, I think those are really, like, the main main points. We were trying to get, um, trying to tell Grandpa, um, but it was... Are your grade eight? Your great aunt Kathy kept canceling, so things just kept coming just, up, I guess. Um, but things. we wound up just now telling him today, and we didn't um, but, tell him. Someone else did, but somebody somebody else told him. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now, and we'll probably have more of these to come because I do want to do more of these. Why are you shaking your head? Because I can. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.